Bhagavad Gita, text 2.24 Surely the self is indivisible, unburnable, insoluble, and cannot be dried up. It is eternal, all-pervading, changeless, unmoving, and primeval. Since the soul is indivisible, ajedyaha, it cannot be cut. It cannot be burned because it is unburnable, adayaha. The soul cannot be moistured by water because it is insoluble, akledyaha. Nor can it be withered by wind because it cannot be dried up, ashoshyaha. Thus, the effects stated in the previous verse are byproducts of the soul's qualities mentioned in this one. The second half of this verse explains why the soul is not subject to the effects of the above mentioned weapons. Because it is eternal, nitya, all pervading, sarvagata, changeless, stanuhu, unmoving, ajalaha, and primeval, sanatanaha, it is not subject to any transformations whatsoever. Something subject to action causes a result of that action, such as production, acquisition, transformation, and change of condition. Being eternal, the soul is not produced. Since it is all-pervading, it cannot be acquired. Being changeless, it is not transformed, and being unmoving, it is not subject to any change of condition. For emphasis, the word eva, surely, is intended to modify all of the soul's qualities mentioned in this verse. Jiva Goswami explains the word sarva gataha as meaning dependent gataha on God, who is everything, sarva. P.S. 34. Everything is but God and his energies. One who is aware of this and thus depends exclusively on God in all circumstances, experiences all pervasiveness through the dependence on the person who is all pervasive.